Hello. In this series, we will build a retro snake game using Android Studio and Java. Let's check out what we are going to be building in this series. This is the main activity or launcher activity. Here you can see the play button and also the text play now. And if you wait for some time, you will see that AdMob banner ad is being shown at the bottom. Click play now button and the game starts. As you can see, you can move the snake in all four directions and eat apples to score. The score is displayed at the top. The snake can also go through any edge of the screen and come back from the opposite edge. For example, if it goes through the left edge of the screen, it comes back from the right edge of the screen. Great. The game is over when the head touches any point of the snake. In the game over screen, your points and personal best is being shown. In the game over screen, we are showing an interstitial ad and also a banner ad at the bottom. From the game over screen, you can either restart the game or exit from it. Let's get started. Open Android Studio. I am using Android Studio version 2021.2.1. Click New Project. Click Next. Write the project name. Retro Snake. Give the package name. I am going to save on my desktop. For language, select Java. And for minimum SDK, select API 21 or Android 5.0 Lollipop. Click Finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your empty project. First, we will design the activity underscore main layout. So go to activity underscore main dot XML. Go to code. First, I will change this constant layout to linear layout. Delete this text view as we don't need this. I'm going to copy my image files and paste inside RES drawable folder. Then write Android colon background at travel for slash background. Android colon gravity center. Android colon orientation should be vertical. And Give a padding of 10 dp. Create a gap using view. This is required for showing the play button in the middle of the screen. View. For layout underscore width, write match underscore parent. And for layout underscore height, write 0 dp. Then for layout underscore weight, write 1. Close the tag. Add an image button when tapped, the game should start. Image button for layout underscore width, wrap content, and for layout underscore height, 
put wrap underscore content. For Android colon background, provide at drawable for slash play. For on click, write play. And for Android colon content description, right play now close the tag add a text view to display the text play now the game should start when the text is tapped text view for layout underscore width write wrap underscore content and for layout underscore height write wrap underscore content Give a margin top of 5 dp. For on click, write play. For text, write play now. For text color, write add Android colon color for a slash hollow underscore blue underscore dark for text size I am using 20 SP SP stands for scale independent pixel and for text style Use bold. Close the tag. Add a second view to create a gap from the image button to the bottom of the screen. This way the image button and the text view stay at the center of the screen. View for layout underscore width match parent and for layout underscore height 0 dp. For layout underscore weight, write 1. Close the tag. Add an add view at the bottom. Create a string, put your banner add unit id there and refer the string in adds colon add unit id. Put your app id, banner add unit id and interstitial add unit id here. Write string name equals to within double quotes app underscore id ca dash put your app id here go to activity underscore main dot xml and write com dot google dot android dot that's it this is the add view tag now add the dependency for add mob in gradle file go to gradle scripts Right implementation now synchronize the project as you can see in the activity underscore main dot xml all the rare squigglies in add view are gone thanks for watching next we will code in main activity see you there